Can you imagine this scene? You visit your friend at his house and he asks you if you'd like a drink. You reply, yeah, thanks, do you have any orange juice? He replies in the positive and comes back with your drink as well as a glass of his own that looks something like apple juice. What's that, you ask? To which he responds, it's my own urine. Perhaps you're not up to speed with the latest trends, you wonder, or has he just gone crazy? It's healthy, he says after seeing how awkward you look. You say nothing but feel pretty sure that drinking your own waste cannot be healthy. Well, today let's have a look at the topic of urine drinking. So, there's a term for it and that term is urophagia. The euro part of the word means urine and the phagia part means to swallow. We should say that today we're not going to talk about urophagia as a paraphilia, meaning something that gives someone sexual arousal. Sorry folks, but that's not why we're here today. Neither are we going to discuss people who drink their own urine as a last resort to survive when there are no other liquids available to drink. What we are going to discuss is people doing this because they think it's good for them. As you'll see, this is quite a controversial topic. So when we're talking about it in this respect, people may refer to the practice as urine therapy and this might be classified as an alternative kind of medicine. It's been around in many cultures for a long time, but it was popularized in the Western culture in the early 20th century by a guy named John W. Armstrong. He was what's called a naturopath. That term itself is controversial because it means healing with natural concoctions and remedies, but some call it pseudoscience. Whatever the case, this man promoted the use of urine for things like stings and toothaches and it's said he believed in something he read in the Bible which went, drink waters out of thine own cistern and running waters out of thine own well. He wrote a book about urine therapy and at the start of that book you can read, the therapy outlined in this book is an entirely drugless system of healing. Moreover, the only ingredient is a substance manufactured in the body, rich in mineral salts, hormones, and other vital substances, namely human urine. He wrote in that book that drinking your own wee-wee can help people if they have a cold or the flu, but he listed all these other ailments and conditions including cancer, jaundice, gangrene, anemia, psoriasis, diphtheria, Bright's disease, heart disease, kidney failure, malaria, menstrual pain, colitis, obesity, syphilis, hair loss, cataracts, asthma, glaucoma, rheumatism, and arthritis. It's said that Mr. Armstrong prescribed urine therapy to thousands of his patients and when he got very sick himself, he believed the best course of action was a 45-day fast with nothing but water and his own urine to drink. Apparently he got better, but before we look at what modern science says about this, let's look at other urine drinkers of the world and why they do it. You might also want to know what's in urine that makes it so special to some people. Well, the answer is that it's 95% water. It might also contain sodium, potassium, urea, chloride, creatinine, as well as other dissolved ions and inorganic and organic compounds according to one science website. But it might contain much more according to other researchers that spent a long time looking at people's urine. It can be normal, abnormal, and if abnormal, it might mean that the person is sick such as he has an infection or some kidney damage. But that's not really the topic of the show today. Back to the proponents of urine drinking. We found some articles online that told us that the practice of urine drinking happens quite a bit in India, maybe more so than in other countries. In 2015, a news story told us that some people there were drinking cow urine because of the alleged health benefits. While some well-known people in India throughout the years have come out and said cow urine or human urine is good for health. We read this in an article in Quartz. The world's first conference on urine therapy was held in Goa in 1996 and attended by around 100 people. The largest delegation from a country outside of India was Germany, which had 28 practitioners. But then we found other stories from around the world, such as the China Urine Therapy Association stating that urine was indeed a miracle cure for many ailments and it might enhance longevity. It was back in 2014, but the South China Morning Post reported that there were about 100,000 urine drinkers on the mainland. That's not so many when you consider the population there, but it's not a handful either. One man said in an interview, in these 22 years of urine therapy, I never caught a cold. My eyesight has become clearer and I don't have any age pigment. In 2019 in Thailand, the health minister said to the public, body wastes must not be eaten or drunk as she pleaded with some ties to end their urine drinking craze. This came after stories online showed some people washing their faces with urine and drinking the stuff. The Thai Department of Health said this should stop. One Thai doctor said, if there's any benefit in urine, it would be a minimal amount of minerals that the body can't cope with. Some people in Thailand might have seen the Facebook posts of 2019 of a man who claims he's never sick 
and that's because he chugs his own waste fluid. When reporters went to see him, there were bottles of the stuff everywhere and he told them that after seeing a certain doctor, he'd been advised to take the plunge and start the course of urotherapy. One news wrote, apart from drinking it, he applies it to his eyes, ears, and nose, and even showers and washes his hair with it. His wife and children don't use it apart from occasionally using it as an antiseptic, but they don't condemn him for his beliefs. So who's right here, this man or the health minister? Could some pee drinkers in India be wrong? Could those urine imbibers in China be wrong? We found some famous people who drank their own urine too, including the boxer who became world champion in four weight classes, Juan Manuel Marquez. He once said, this is something I've been doing for the past six or seven fights, and it has given me good results. There are also MMA fighters who have done it and pro football players. Brazilian MMA fighter Leota Machida once said in an interview, my father does that for a long time and bring it to us. People think it's a joke. I never said it in the United States because I don't know how the fans will react. I drink my urine every morning like a natural medicine. Are all these people wrong? Is their urine doing nothing for them or maybe perhaps acting as a placebo and therefore helping them? Well, there are plenty of skeptics and like the Thai minister, you'll find many, many people saying the same thing. It has no health benefits. One doctor told the Guardian that urine does contain 95% water, so yes, in an emergency it might be the right spring to tap. But he said the 5% left is the waste the body wants to get rid of. He said think about it like drinking ocean water. It's going to dehydrate you and do significantly more harm than good. But if more harm than good, how come some of these heavy drinkers report that they're in great health? To them, rather than hurt them, a glass of pee a day keeps the doctor away. Well, according to most health professionals, drinking your own pee isn't likely going to make you sick. It's likely someone else's pee won't do that either, or else people wouldn't be taking those gilded showers for fun. Warning though, it can contain harmful bacteria, so imbibing another person's could be a bad move. Research has shown though that urine might contain traces of vitamins, hormones, and antibodies, but not in the quantity that would help a person to have great health. Still, people persist in drinking it and believe that those who condemn the practice either don't know what they're talking about or have more selfish and political reasons for not supporting it. Such a group might be the Urine Therapy of Colorado group, who Newsweek wrote about in 2019. Some of those members might tell you it can cure skin diseases or simply cure a stomachache. One guy even said it cured his depression. It might be a case of saying, well, if it works for you, go for it. Although doctors will still tell you that urine drinking is not the best way to treat sickness. Nonetheless, one might ask if urine drinking is any worse than, say, taking a regimen of depression pills that have a long list of moderate and severe side effects. We can imagine what the urine drinkers would say to that. Finally, we go to the US National Institutes of Health, a place where you can find numerous studies on just about anything related to health. One paper we found was titled, The Golden Fountain. Is urine the miracle drug no one told you about? It discussed how the practice of downing a glass of self-made whiz for health benefits has gone on for centuries all over the world. The author of that paper from University College London said, urine is sterile when it's produced in the kidney, but once it's left the body, it's usually contaminated. She also said, it's not toxic per se. There may be rare situations where the urine is the cleanest liquid at hand to pour over a dirty wound or the only liquid to drink when buried under a collapsed building or lost at sea for days. But most of the time, there are better or tastier ways to improve one's health. She just doesn't think it's worth it. And we found other health professionals that said the same. It has no health benefits and there is a risk of it being infected. One other thing that a doctor told the BBC was this, when you drink urine, it will eventually come back out again and be much more concentrated, which could lead to gut problems. The kidneys will have to work hard to filter out the excess again putting strain on them. So it seems that while there are quite a few people around the world that swear urine drinking is good for them, ultimately the real health professionals are pretty much all in agreement. Don't drink your urine, at least not with the goal of getting any real positive health benefits. We could do an I drank my own urine for a month challenge, but we're not sure if our writer would like the challenge and of course, we don't want him to fall ill. We found some evidence online that in survival situations, some people in the US military have drunk their own pee, but the military advises that its personnel not do that. You might have seen Bear Grylls do it on TV, but we looked at what the experts say and they'll tell you that drinking pee will just make you more dehydrated. Bear Grylls just wants to entertain you. We did find one man who managed to filter his pee. He wrote this on a survival website. I tried the filtration method of digging a small hole, urinating in the hole, placing an empty soup can in the middle of the hole, and using saran wrap over the hole to drip some of the water into the center. 
I got more water from collecting it from my tent tarp in the morning dew. This guy added that his pee didn't exactly taste good. Have you ever tried it or would you ever? Tell us in the comments either why or why not. Now go watch crazy things a doctor removed from inside a person's body. Thanks for watching and as always don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you next time.